So, um, my name is uh, Anastasis. Um, I'm working on a scientific computing center in uh, Aristotle University at Greece. Uh, what we do there actually is uh, we have a, a green infrastructure and um, we compute physics. Uh, we have jobs uh, from all over uh, the Europe. We actually give uh, computing uh, infrastructure for uh, CERN and Atlas team. And um, what we had on mind was that we want to, to move on from the standard grid infrastructure, which is actually bare metal. We're just giving CPUs to the users to move on cloud so we can manage everything more, uh, with more ease and give uh, better services and all this kind of cool stuff that the cloud can provide. Um, so we had to find some arguments to say that, okay, we can move on. Uh, what we did was uh, to take some samples from uh, different, um, from different um, experiments. And when I say experiments, I'm talking about code that is running on uh, the computers. And uh, we, uh, we start taking samples of uh, what's the difference between a bare metal computing running and the, Vim and the virtual machine running. And we took time uh, times and how much the difference is. Uh, you can see here that in this graph, we pretty much can see that when we are running on cloud, it's, much, it's slower. But the difference is about 5 uh, to 25 percent. Uh, these are some programs that uh, our users are running. And uh, the Flow 3D here uh, is the only application that is running on OpenMP. The other are just MPI, um, MPI codes. And this is the biggest difference. Uh, well, we are saying that, OK, we are slower but what we can take from that. And the idea was that if we actually create, uh, if we actually could provide more jobs running, even slower, at the end, we can make it faster because every, every user on grid is not uh, running only one, uh, only one job at a time. It's uh, actually spawning a lot of, uh, lot of things, uh, parametric jobs and all this stuff that produces a big amount of jobs. That, uh, that they're waiting on queues. And uh, the idea was to uh, minimize, find a way to minimize the queue. Even the jobs could take one more day to run. And every job, I have to inform you, that is running for days. So the difference is not so big if we, if we could uh, take uh, one day less, but if we actually be able to give more jobs to run. So that was the concept that we create um, that we create a, a machine that can do that. Um, this is not easy at all. Uh, we had a lot of problems. Uh, the how, how the grid infrastructure is uh, actually uh, deployed is um, it's not very helpful. It's not very helpful. And um, we had a lot of ideas how to solve things. And we'll see what we actually did in the end. Um, we created, um, f the, the idea was to take OpenStack, find, uh, create a lot of uh, virtual machines, and uh, deploy these virtual machines as, as worker nodes on top. Uh, this was not easy. We started uh, with creating, we created an image from uh, the distribution, the, the CentOS we wanted, we, because we are using uh, CentOS 6 or uh, Scientific Linux uh, 6 to create all this stuff. And we first took all that. Uh, created five virtual machines, uh, we pre-configured them and starting doing all this stuff, which is a great overhead. So we have to take in count also how much time we, we need. So we can say that, okay, we have a big queue for around 100 jobs that are waiting to run. And um, this, is, um, this is going to be okay only if we spawn five more VMs because we also taking into account how much time we want that, uh, how much time we need for a virtual machine to be inside uh, the new grid infrastructure. Um, 
you can see all that uh, on this one. We had problems with networking and how this all is going to work because this, um, um, the, for, for the end user, we, the end user doesn't know how this is implemented. It's only sending a job to a cream service, this one, and uh, it's just waiting here. The networking, uh, the, the configuration, and all this stuff is all automatic, and uh, the user must have no idea what's going on inside. The problem is that uh, the grid, as an idea, is very old, and uh, all this, uh, even those all these years have passed, no one actually created a, a more fast, a, a better way to, to do that. All the, all the tools that, uh, that actually implement all this stuff, it's, uh, uh, they are very old and very slow. Um, this was the biggest problem of that. Uh, you can see here, YIME, uh, YIME is a tool that is, uh, pretty much is do what Puppet is doing, uh, but in a very old fashioned way. And it's very, very slow. And this was the most challenging thing to create this deployment. Um, a little more about what we, I, I like to think that what we do, uh, what we did, it's, uh, it's split it in three parts. The first part is that we need a cloud provider to do what we want to do, to spawn the virtual machines. Uh, the second part is the logic that we say, okay, we need some more scale, uh, scale out. And the third part is uh, what service we are actually providing. We are talking only for grid infrastructure at this point. The first part, as I said, it was used OpenStack to, um, to, impl to, to implement a task for, uh, and task for more virtual machines. It, it was not such a big deal because we just uh, we just created some scripts that uh, they are talking with uh, the OpenStack API, and they say, okay, I need three new virtual machines with these Siemens, and everyone was ready and cool, everything. The second part is, the, the second part is this one. Um, it's not such complicated seems. It's very stupid, actually. We say that um, you have 100 uh, virtual machines, let's say, um, and if we have more than 100 jobs, just give me some more virtual machines. Um, this is actually the logic and the, the algorithm that is asking uh, for, um, for our uh, infrastructure to be bigger. And uh, this is very debatable for what is the optimal, what is the, the best one, and I think the, the, whole, the, the, whole, the, the, the most difficult part is this one, how you actually optimize uh, the, your logic to ask you all this stuff. It's very experimental. We, we just try to do something that works as a proof of concept, and we are trying to, to move on from that. Actually, there are a lot of ideas that maybe, at this point, uh, this logic is, is written in Ruby, so you have to write um, some rules in Ruby to say what, you, what the conditions would be uh, to scale. Um, there are some ideas that uh, maybe we can find another way so you don't have to be bound to a specific language. Let's say you can write a simple rule on MATLAB and we just execute MATLAB and say, okay, you can scale or you cannot scale. Um, this is our some notes of um, the tools that we had to integrate, we have to collaborate to make uh, the virtual machine work. And as I said, this was a, a total nightmare. And this is because just grid is very old. Um, on the other hand, we have <laughs> a very good experience with OpenStack because whatever we wanted it was already ready uh, with graphic interfaces and very simple <coughs> things to do. Um, and the whole architecture of how this is going to be um, at this point was just a bunch of scripts around to cream server where the queue is, the virtual machines, uh, the working nodes and we, as we want to, set, to, to call them inside the grid infrastructure, and some, some other scripts uh, on, uh, on, uh, on a place where OpenStack at least can uh, speak of. Um, really distributing and a chaos. We're still on alpha, so 
I think we are excused for that. Um, the logic again, I've, I just have to say that we also were thinking that every time you don't have a lot of people uh, waiting to get some um, uh, computing resources, we can close some virtual machines and upgrade some others. For example, dynamically add um, a, a virtual machine that, is ha that has o only one CPU to give, uh, to give it some more memory and even some more CPUs. So jobs are running there to, be, to finish much more quick. Um, I have, my, I have the, uh, the code of this project uh, online on GitHub, so anytime you can go and check it. Actually, it's, uh, we didn't do a lot of uh, work the last uh, two months, but we, we keep in mind that we have to do something about that. Um, some f future work and um, some concerns we keep in mind is that um, there is a very cool feature, very cool protocol, OCCI, that can give us uh, the possibility to, to run in every possible uh, cloud provider. So we can create a, create a universal way to, uh, to scale this uh, deployment. But I have to say also that it's very specific for grid infrastructure. We only take care of that. Um, we also have some other comments about um, um, things that we should send them to CERN because these, these are the developers about all these tools. Um, but pretty much we're trying the best. Thank you very much. Any questions about that? Yes? How long does it actually take to burn up a new worker name? It's about five to six minutes, or it can even go worse if uh, there are some... Uh, the, the whole process is a little bit asynchronous. We have, you have to... You have to restart the master node, let's say, which is the queue, uh, the queue service. You have to restart both queue service and the worker node. So if something wrong, wrong happens, it can take even, I don't know, maybe an hour if you have a lot of uh, worker nodes. Oh, like every time you bring up new worker nodes? Yeah, yeah, this is, this is, this is the, the, the worst thing. And this is why I said these tools are very old, because when this started, no one had in mind that, OK, we, we can scale every day or even every minute. The, the whole infrastructure were fixed. We had 100 uh, bare metal machines, and this will not change easily. So yeah, it's a little bit mess. <laughs> So thank you.